In Kran he sat, fed flies so sweet. In Vienna he scribbled, taught the elite. Dr. Jakob Zupan. Anton Jancha, born in Breznica, 1734, died in Vienna, 1773, was the first Slovenian teacher of beekeeping. Persistence and hard work helped him advance himself from his humble beginnings in Breznica to the position of an academically educated painter and the first expert on bees at the imperial court. The Austrian court acknowledged his superior talents, laborious nature and importance. Jancha was only 19 years old when his father died. As the eldest child, he was forced to help his mother raise his four brothers and four sisters. Anton and two of his brothers, Tine and Lovro, shared a substantial talent for painting and a studio was set up in their barn. The Jancha family was driven to beekeeping by poverty as well as the suitable natural conditions and the tradition of the craft. They owned over 100 beehives. A bench was set in front of Jancha's beehive where farmers would gather to discuss agriculture and beekeeping. Clever Anton took the gatherings as his first and best school of beekeeping. Anton and his two brothers were lured to Vienna by the quest for knowledge and development. They were all accepted to the art academy. Despite their lack of reading and writing skills and a modest command of the German language, Anton overcame these obstacles and excelled at the academy. His efforts led to a grant by Maria Theresia for a study trip to Italy. At that time, a commercial company in Vienna committed itself to improving beekeeping in the country and decided to open a beekeeping school. Anton Jansha was faced with a difficult decision. Should he continue on the path of an artist who had already received some acclaim or should he dedicate himself to beekeeping, craft very dear to him since his youth? He applied for a position at the school, certain that he would serve his homeland better as a beekeeper. After a successful entrance exam, he became the first teacher of beekeeping in Viennese Algarten. Fervently, he started expanding the knowledge gained in his home village. Soon Jancha received a great deal of renown for his clear and exemplary lectures based on his thorough knowledge of bees. The Gorenska way of beekeeping spread throughout the country. Despite the fact that he taught beekeeping for less than four years, he wrote two important books, A Treatise on Bee Swarming and The Complete Teachings on Beekeeping. The small bees that captured his heart in his youth made Jancha famous at the court as well as at home and worldwide. He was described as a rational observer and describer of bees, in addition to providing the basis of numerous records in beekeeping achieved after his untimely death. Beekeepers from the Gorenska region made the Carnolian bee, Apis mellifera canitsa, famous around the globe. Anton Jancha belongs to all the beekeepers of the world. He was as laborious as a bee throughout his life. He was a quiet observer, paying constant attention, who never gave up painting. Thanks to him, villages under Stoll Mountain are known as the cradle of the Slovenian beekeeping. Grateful Slovenians have taken care of Jancha's beehive, preserving it to the present day. Commemorating the 200th anniversary of Jancha's death, beekeepers set up a memorial corner in Brezovica and unveiled a memorial slab and organized an international memorial celebration. The Anton Jancha Bee Mating Station stands at the end of the beautiful Zorichnitsa Valley. A beekeeping museum is located in Rodolica.